today we are going to hunt this old church. I have hunted before, found some silver out of here and a few good relics. Uh, I know a lot of people hunt this place, but every time I come here I do pretty good. And uh, today I'm hoping is no exception. Super excited about this right here. Uh, second hole, first hole got a couple square nails. Sometimes those square nails sound really good. Uh, but this second hole turned up an eagle button. Look at that, huh? I'm not sure about the date, but uh, it kind of looks like, uh, you know, 1800s to me. I can see it at the bottom of the hole there. I'll try to zoom in. You can see it right down there. And she's, uh, from here, it looks pretty green. Yeah, very green. Hoping for a weedy or a, uh, even better, be an Indian head. It is a 19. 25s nice early weedy right there no silver yet kind of really hoping to get some silver out of here soon found another pocket knife I found one just last week she's in pretty bad shape though <laughs> what you got there Chad hey wee penny Wee penny, huh? Yes, sir. Nice. Can't quite see a date through the mud. You might be able to get one on the camera. But... Uh, looks like a, oops, there we are. 1956, I want to say. Yeah, barely. Barely, barely. barely made that one. Uh, Chad got a piece of jewelry here. Let me zoom in real quick on that, Chad. Uh, look at that, huh? That's cool. Have any writing on the back, bro? I don't see much yet. No? Could just be a fake little. Yeah, probably. Is. It's got some writing right in the middle right there. Yeah. See a little star. Yeah. All right, well, we'll clean it up and uh, we'll get back to you in a minute. It's not real gold. It says Hong Kong right in the middle of it there. Uh, cool. Zinc caps for a mason jar. Uh, these are porcelain lined, genuine Boyd cap for mason jars. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All intact. I was just about to get up and I noticed this little eyesight find. And that's a weedy. <laughs> Love it. You can see where we're sitting right there. That's cool. We'll see what date it is. I'll get back to you. I'm not sure about the date. It's a 1912 or a 15. Cool. That was an eyesight find. Right on top. Modern coin spill. <laughs> Check this out though. First, we get this big old square nail out of there and another nail, and then I know there's there's at least eight or nine pennies sitting there. That ah, another nail. How'd that uh, how'd that sound to you, Chad? Like a mess, but I just <laughs> had to dig it just to see what we were looking at, you know? Did it even sound like a coin down there? Uh, there was one on top a little higher than the rest. Yeah. And that, Kinda, that, that one was giving you a better better sound out of it. That's what I kept doing. Uh, Maybe they got another nail. Yeah, another that's pretty right there. You yeah. see it? Too bad that wasn't a. Uh, a weedy spill they're all they're all modern memorial lincolns but hey you know it's fun there's a really old axe head i like finding these you can take these and uh, do a little electrolysis on them 
and they clean up pretty good. Sometimes you'll find a stamp of a, a, a maker on here and believe it or not guys actually collect these so you clean them up good enough and you can sell them. Pretty cool. So we got our first silver. Um, looks like a rosy. Definitely looks silver. It's a 1963. Let me pull it out of there. Just barely made the silver. Just barely made silver. That's cool though. I tell you, this was a funny signal. Uh, it was kind of deep, almost six inches. It was sounding 88, 87. It was kind of bouncy. And then when I flopped the plug, I checked the plug with my my uh, my machine, and it was 83, staying on a dime. And uh, and we dig a lot of dimes. And anytime it stays on 83, it's usually a modern dime. But hey, loving that man. This is a Uncle Sam play penny. I've seen a lot of play dimes. Well, this is the first play penny I've ever seen. Um, not sure about the years on these. We find quite a bit of them out here, though. But like I said, usually uh, you find them, they're play dimes, but that's the first play penny I've ever seen. Pretty cool. Hey, this is a neat little find. I like finding these, too. Little kid's cap gun. Uh, hard to tell how old, of course. It came out of the hole in pieces. But, uh... We might be able to find some information on this cap gun from this handle here. Um, the handle's in really good shape. It has some kind of decoration on front, so I'll see what I can do, see what I can turn up and get back to you if I find anything on that. Now, I just got a nice green one. These early Wheaties are really green. I think it just must have been the, uh, the different metals because um, the 50s and the 40s, they always come out more of a red. So I know right away when I see green on a weedy, you're talking an early one. This one uh, end up being, I think, a 1919, which is awesome. I love those early weedies.